Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to another RU Wi-Fi Bell, which is really this guy render. And for the few of you who follow me on Twitter, you know I've been very sick, so I haven't been able to record anything. Hell, I got stomach sick, so you know, I've been super manly, you know, punching walls, not at all, like lying in bed, screaming in agony. I was, I was super manly. So therefore it wasn't an upload last week. However, I had a few Wi-Fi Bells that I really wanted to upload, one of them are this one, and this team is actually relevant now due to Durant's actually got banned from RU, however, I do believe this game will showcase why it should be banned, because it's a tremendous threat against a lot of matchup. However, as you guys can see on my opponent's side here, we see a Brown Song, a Bomber Snow, which is most likely the, what I would say, the Mega Variant, Melodic, Gligar, Guard of War, and Fralligator, which of course is, you know, the, the Life Orb. Dragon has very tremendous threat. I myself here is using a Scarfed Sork, which is really good right now in RU, and actually even with Rank on, still is just as viable. Necrozma standard set with a bit of a bulk or offensive version with Heatwave, um, Photogeyser, Stealth Frogs, and Fillers, if I remember correctly, something like that. Uh, Mega Blastoise, which of course is part of the tier, really good. Um, Durant standard Dark UMC with Hone Edge. Um, then we have Celestial Standard set there also with Life Orb and the Fire Blast and whatnot. And Dragon Dance Fly On because it's actually fairly alright in this tier. Uh, even with actually Scarf Guard Warden tier, it still is really good. And with Iron Tail, it actually poses a threat towards a lot of teams. So, we, yeah, with all this in mind, I mean, from the matchup here, it looks like a Bomber Snow or a Bronzer could be the lead. So, I'm going to design myself out of that. So, let's go to the match. So from the get-go, my easiest lead here is going with Sorg actually, because it just kind of possess a tremendous threat towards this whole team, as we get the predictions right and actually see it's Hacker Bell. Now, we have Mold Breaker, which means Ergic will hit super effectively, but I think Knockoff overall is a stronger play. So I decided to go with that, and it does a tremendous amount of damage as we knock off the leftovers. He's gonna get out his Stealth Rocks, and you know, I have Blastoise, so I don't necessarily care all that much. So I'm gonna continue to just thrive and just keep on going for knockoffs. We knock out Bronson really, really early, but at the same time, you don't want to go for a knockoff against, of course, the likes of um, what do you call it, losing Ligars, <laughs> if I like. So he switches into his melodic. I, I have to switch out. My best switch in here is my uh, Necros, my Douse. Uh, so he goes for a Toxic. So that's a really strong flavor on his side. Definitely gets his off foot because there's no way I was going to switch into Celasso here towards this Pokemon if anything. So I am offensive, I have, um, I do believe Leftovers will recover, but outside of that I am fairly offensive. So I go for knockoff just to get off the Leftovers and then after that I have two special moves in Photon Geyser and Heatwave. Photon Geyser should do decent damage here, but at the same time it feels like a matchup it will eventually lose. So if you want to get something up, Stealth Rock probably is my strongest play. Uh, so I decided to go for that, basically get the residual damage towards his remaining team because he has to have a defog in his Gligar if he has some way of actually getting the um, Sasses out of the field. And I stated, I'm not necessarily that weak myself to Stealth Rock, so I don't mind it being on the field on both sides. So I'm gonna go for Photon Geisha, basically fall with this as... Um, I say it does fair damage, but at the same time it, de it definitely isn't <laughs> too much really. And uh, the Skull in combination with Toxic will take me out, but I think I got my point across, I got the rocks up, which is the most important part, and I should be able to get a fair switch into a sin. So I can actually bring in Jaeger, the Sork yet again, and this time I can, if I so desire, actually go directly for a close combat. He's not in range of dying, but sure as hell would take a decent chunk, as you guys can see, it is over 50%, so that's quite right. As he goes for recover, trust me, he can't recover stall this. Close combat do more than he can recover back. And I think he realized that it switches out and goes actually to the wingsuit, which is the Gligar. And uh, well, I kept going for close combats and jokes on me because I don't do necessarily anything here. And since I'm scarfed, I'm I'm locked into this and I'm basically gonna lose. Uh, so that said, yeah, I need to switch out. My best switch in is definitely Blastoise or Rodot. Which, I gotta say this, Mega Blastoise is definitely the worst starter Mega Pokemon, but it's definitely a tremendous threat in RU, and it, it does decently well against a lot of things. Now, I do decide here to go for, I do believe, an Aura Sphere, um, or I think it was a Dark Pulse, something like that. I definitely went for a neutral move, not going for Water Pulse, because of Melodics could potentially switch in here and actually recover back. So, with that in mind, I do get, do I get that prediction right, and actually, as I've afraid of her actually get Melodic out of the way and at the same time that also means that I'm free to go for any kind of water spamming 
Now the Gligar comes in, I decide here to actually go for Rapid Spin because I don't necessarily think this Pokemon can threaten me, so I thought it was an overall decent play, however, he has a Defog, so it, that was definitely, um, <clears throat> how to say it, a, a useless a useless side of events. As I go for Whirlpools, it is definitely enough to KO a Gligar, you know, there's no way he's gonna take that you know, with the ability Mega Launch or whatnot. Uh, so Glacier, the Mega Bombastar comes in. Now, we're not in a good spot. I, I don't feel like taking a Wood Hammer, or a Swear is not in range of taking out. So I'm gonna go to Orchid, which is the Zalassal White Shiny Super Legit Zalassal. Maybe not. As I predict him to go for possible Wood Hammer or Blizzard. Anywhere is, anyway, is fine, but the Wood Hammer is what I think is the strongest play. As he goes for the, just for that. And it does, you know, for being four times resisted, it still does like 25%. So, ouch. <laughs> As of course it's gonna switch out, so I predicted something like that and actually decided I think I went for a sludge wave here, thinking that it was more safer doing so and a bomb snow would still be in range for actually dying. As the only way you can kill me with his alligator from this range is actually to have Aqua Jet. And uh, surprise surprise it doesn't. Why would he? Dragon Dance for Alligator, yeah. Rarely do you see the Aqua Jet, and we do actually snag the KO here, which is really really good. Now, here's the thing though, his last Pokemon is Bombastro and Gardevoir. Gardevoir is to be expected to be Scarf. So with that in mind, I really just can do only one plan, actually sack my Salasal. I could switch it out going into Durant, but qu quite frankly, I don't want to take an unnecessary risk because Durant is a very, very good range of just wrapping the game up from here. And that is exactly what I'm going to decide to do and bring in Tatolios in and just go for that Sea Hone Edge, which basically, or Home Claw, I mean, what that does is, of course, that you get two races in attack, which is really good, but you also get that extra race. What you get it with Hustle means that you now hit basically like two sword stances behind you, so no matter what comes in, it dies. Or basically, if you hit it neutrally, uh, you're still killing basically anything. It only hits against like a big Omomola can take it on. Uh, so Sideshark is a guy who doesn't do anything, and we are to wrap up here. We're easily going to score the win here. So Garbor is going to fall. Last Pokemon here is to make a bomb of snow, and as you guys probably can figure out, it, it's a wrap. So, to my opponents here, Mr. Badger, really just want to say GG. It's, it's very clear here that I have a very strong matchup towards this Pokemon, or that this team overall. I really didn't struggle all that much. It basically came down to me getting a few predictions right in the beginning, and I could remain opposing would be more threatening than his team could, and eventually won due to that alone, actually. But yeah, a few ending thoughts that I just want to share. You know, with Durant gone, it, this team is um, kind of half-assed at the moment. It definitely needs that kind of essence of sweepish um, in it. So with that in mind, it's going to be changed out for some speedier threat. So it might very well be uh, some kind of effective grass type of thing. I'll, I have yet to decide here, but quite frankly, at the moment, it's kind of half-assed, though Sork is really threatening towards this. As I stated before, Sork is a Pokemon that I think is fairly underrated. The ability Mold Breaker makes it very, very distinguishing. You know, with Pokemon such as Brodom Heat in its here, having access to Earthquake, yeah, that's that's kind of intimidating. Very, very effective. Uh, and to my opponent, that stated, I think the matchup here was really my favor. He had a more defensive team with offensive variants, with both Veraligator and um, Garbor posing that offensive variant, but towards my team it definitely wasn't enough, and consider the Mega Blast is a part of that, yeah, it's a hard thing to factor in, and you know, Mega Blast so as an offensive Pokemon is really good in a tier, because it's defensive enough to take hits, so it's all about the retaliation, or hopefully not getting hit in the first place to be one able to actually want to kill Pokemon as it is. So, with that said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and uh, look for more. We're definitely going to upload more now that I'm feeling more, well, clearly healthy. <laughs> so, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, of course, as always, take care.